National Republican Fundraising Committee says that Congressman Joe Wilson has actually raised hundreds of thousands of dollars since Wednesday night's outburst. So let's talk more about all of this. I'm joined now by CNN Radio Capitol Hill correspondent Lisa Desjardins. We're huge rally there on Capitol Hill. A lot of folks who have been very vocal about not liking the health care proposal that the president has been pitching. So just to forewarn our audience that there just might be some yelling uh, about that kind of uh, statement while we're talking about Congressman Joe Wilson. All right, so Lisa, you actually have some experience covering Joe Wilson when in South Carolina. He is not new to South Carolina, however, he might be new to the national spotlight. Did this, um, I guess, display this week seem kind of in concert with the Joe Wilson that they know in South Carolina? Well, I'll tell you, first of all, if you can hear me, this crowd is not just here about health care, but they're here about a lot of issues that they're obviously upset about. Right now, they're chanting, we tell the truth. Uh, they've been talking a lot to me about what they think CNN should have, and here you hear them chanting. Let's talk about Joe Wilson. interrupt you for a minute because the crowd is kind of uh, overshadowing your word so I'm going to ask you to speak a little bit louder and give it one more uh, shot um, to see if we can hear you a little bit more clearly. So is he, Joe Wilson, now a hot potato on Capitol Hill? Are fellow Republicans distancing themselves from him? Yeah, I, I don't think they're very comfortable with what happened, Patricia, but they're not turning their backs on him. Clearly, Democrats are making a move. They want an apology on the floor of the House. They say if he does not give that apology, that they will be pushing a resolution to admonish Congressman Wilson. So next week will be an important week for Congressman Wilson to decide, does he want to give an apology on the House floor? He's already apologized to the White House. Does he want to make that next step? Or does he want to face a potential resolution against him? Are you, are you telling me? Are you telling me? Before we cut out. Yeah, go ahead. Lisa Desjardins, thanks so much for uh, trying to compete with the noise just in terms of an audio uh, sort of way, quality of audio. Thanks so much. So we will find out perhaps uh, in the coming week whether indeed the push that uh, Congressman Joe Wilson is getting from some members on Capitol Hill, whether he will actually take to the floor and give an, a verbal apology to the chamber there. We know already, as Lisa was underscoring there, even though it may have been a little bit difficult to hear her, that Congressman Joe Wilson did reach out to the president by telephone, did offer an apology, and the president did accept, but this story is far from over.